there, my name is Julia Doherty from Green Umbrella Social Media for Business and it's my job to make sure that you're ahead of the game when it comes to everything to do with social media and general online marketing. And if I can make your job easier, then my job's done, that's as far as I'm concerned. Okay, one of the things I wanted to talk about today, which comes up an awful lot when I'm talking to various different clients and doing workshops and stuff like that, is talking about RSS. Now, a lot of people just don't get RSS and it's a real shame because it's such a good type of technology that can be used to make your business easy. So what does RSS mean? RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication, which if you ask me, it's really stupid because really simple is something that it's not. But what I'm going to do is try and break this down into bite-sized chunks for you just to explain how an RSS feed works. Okay, so say if I am constantly going on to the BBC News because I want to share some really good content on my Twitter, on my Facebook, on my LinkedIn, and BBC News is a good place to get that content. Um, so I'm going onto the website every single day to have a look and see what articles they've got. But wouldn't it be easier if those articles just came into my inbox rather than me having to go to search for them? Okay, and that's why where RSS comes in. So with the BBC News, by the way, yes, you can click here, but if you come all the way down to the bottom, it has a nice area called News Feed. So rather than, rather than subscribing to the whole of the BBC News, you can actually pick what different sections you want and that sort of stuff. So there's a whole range of information on there. So say if I wanted um, some technology, let's go into technology, and I wanted to subscribe, subscribe to that feed, um, this all looks very confusing, but you just take the RSS feed, put it into your RSS reader, and then automatically things will appear in your inbox. Okay. Now again, that also sounds quite complicated, so I'm going to show you something within Hootsuite that just makes this job so much easier. Okay, let's go over to here, and I'll go on to Hootsuite. I've got a tab on my Hootsuite and I've imported or integrated the Hootsuite Syndicator application. Okay, there's loads of apps that you can do within Hootsuite, but I'm just going to showcase this one for you today. Now, as you can see, I subscribe to an RSS feed for loads of different um, websites. And obviously, it's my job to keep you guys ahead of the game, so I need to subscribe to all the top social media guru sites out there. So you can see I've got Social Media Examiner, um, Social Media Today, um, Mashable, you know, some really good sort of websites. There you go, there's the BBC News website. So I subscribe to all these sites and every day I can check my, my Hootsuite and I can click on there um, to actually have a look at the individual article. So if I click, then I can read that article and then I can forward that article if I want to using my little Hootlet bar up here. Um, and I can share that article to LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or wherever I wanted to do. Okay, right, so let me talk you through um, in very simple step-by-step -step instructions as to how to get all these columns into your Hootsuite so that you don't have to go anywhere else. You can get all your information of all your valuable sources fed into your Hootsuite um, and rather than feeding your inbox as well so your emails are not flooded, it's all there all in one place. Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to install the application. There's quite a few apps in Hootsuite and a lot of people don't realize that. Um, you've got a little jigsaw puzzle here over on the left hand side. If you click there, that takes you to the app directory. It's a little bit like iTunes, I suppose. Uh, you can come down and as you can see, there's loads of apps. So it's well worth having a bit of a play with these. Um, I'll come down. One thing, there's two RSS ones. This is one, it's called the RSS Reader. Now that's the one not to install, so please don't have a look at that one. You want one that says the Hootsuite Syndicator, okay? Um, obviously I've already installed this, but you will have a little install app, and so you need to do that first. So pause now while you quickly do that, and then come back to me. Okay, once that's installed, um, we're gonna start a brand new tab. Okay, you can have up to 20 tabs on Hootsuite um, and then you can have up to 10 columns or they call them streams. So let's get the Hootsuite syndicator up. So the first thing we're going to do, you see you've got networks here. The second tab across is apps. So we're going to sit on the apps and we're going to come all the way down and it will say Hootsuite syndicator and you want to click your little plus button here. 
okay by the way if this is not wide enough for you you can make it smaller and wider um, by doing that okay so in actual fact let's make it nice and wide okay but as you can see um, it's how do I get my BBC news to my Hootsuite so how do I get that information to my Hootsuite okay the first thing we need to do is grab the RSS feed address that's like a website address for the RSS feed okay so we're going to go on to BBC news first thing you want to look for is that little orange sticker so you can see your orange sticker here so we're going to click on it and then we're going to we've got the URL so that's the website address for that sticker okay we're going to copy that we're going to go back onto Hootsuite and then we're going to stick it in where it says subscriptions which is this little RSS logo I've got quite a few on here and what we're going to do is paste it just here okay so we're going to paste it there and then we're just going to click add subscription okay so there's my BBC home news that's the subscription I've just added but what I want to do I still want to get it to my as a column so what I'm going to do is actions just over here and it says display feed in stream click okay done okay that took a second or two and I was thinking oh my god what's happening there but yep so there you've got all of your um, feeds here now well, I don't know why it doesn't do this but you can still say it says Hootsuite indicator Hootsuite reader um, but if you've got 10 columns there sometimes you just want this nice and labeled so I'm going to show you how to label this now this is the next thing that you want to do so you want to come on your little cog or your gear click here and we're just going to call this BBC news save settings okay I'm going to take that through I'm going to take you through that again just very slowly um, but I'm going to actually now add a feed for a company called Recruitment International now my target market is recruitment agencies so if I'm going to be sharing things on Twitter and LinkedIn sometimes it's relevant to add stuff not just to do with social media but also to do with the recruitment industry because you know I, I want to attract my target market one of the best places to do that is a place called Recruitment International. So I'm going to subscribe now to their RSS feed. As you can see, it's right here, smack bang in the middle. Good old Recruitment International. When I click RSS feeds, I grab, copy the URL or copy the website address of that feed. I go on to Hootsuite. I actually need to add the app, so I need to add Hootsuite Syndicator. So I go on to Apps. I come down and I add my app. Okay, but now I need to get Recruitment International into this column. So I'm going to click my little RSS. From there, I'm going to click a little post here. I'm going to, I'm going to paste my URL that I've just copied and click. So I've pasted in my URL, my website address into the subscription. I'm gonna click add subscription. Added new subscription, so it should be down here somewhere. Recruitment International, there you go, active RSS feed. But I still need to get this from my subscription manager into a nice column here in Hootsuite. So let's get that done. So we click a little Cross here, display, feed in stream, and then click done. So my phone's pinging, sorry about that. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to rename this rather than it saying Hootsuite Reader. I want to name it to Recruitment International. I do that on the cog. Recruitment International. Save settings. Okay, there you go. So all the new articles that are coming in, if I click this button here, it just refreshes it, then that's absolutely fine. What I do, I actually personally do this every single morning. So I come in, um, say if I've already clicked on this and I've read it, so I've clicked on there, I've read that article, that's absolutely fine. You see how it changes colour? So say if I wanted to do this one down here, I've clicked and I've read it, 
and then I change you see how they've changed colors they're not obvious change of colors and um, but every day when I come in I know how far I've got so say if I go back onto my GUS RSS feed and I can have a look at the individual columns I know how far I've got so actually I've read all of these ones I haven't actually read all of these ones yet I've read all of Michael Hyatt's down to this one and I haven't read much of Mashables today I don't know how far I got they do loads of articles okay but that's a good way if you've um, if you've had a skim read and you think there's nothing of interest there you can click on this little button here and you can put mark all as red as I all, all red so I've read them all and then they will all go that different color of like a white so you can see at a glance which ones you've still got to read I really hope that makes sense I know it's a bit brain frozen um, but hopefully that all makes sense if you've got any questions you know we're here on the live chat you can always check us out on the live chat I'll quickly show you where that is um, over here on our website if you just click here live chat you can speak to one of the consultants um, either myself usually I'm at the end of the uh, landline or yeah you, know, you can check out any of the guys there and they've got any questions just answer it's a free helpline I really hope that makes sense. Anyway, I shall see you all next week. Take care. Bye-bye.